hello everyone in this lecture tutorial we are going to start with the different technologies and the tools that can be used in this time to make our students aware about learning process so yes I'm using this app to record a screen so yes we are starting with the screen recorder app I have recorded one file before so let's see first where you can find this in play store you type a screen recorder you will find the second one this which I already installed in my mobile so you can install it if you open you will see this window so here is the option if you click on this button now it's I'm already recording so you just click on it you will find the window which is as shown here pause stop or it, there are different tools to control so if you click on the start recording video it will start recording your screen so whatever it's visible that can be recorded so i'm showing you suppose if i want to show you some youtube content so that can be recorded yes this is my youtube channel smart technology where i'm dealing with the engineering graphics and the mechanical engineering videos on different subjects so let's this is one video which i've recorded yesterday so i was explaining some topic here yeah. so similar way there are different videos available so if you like please share these videos it's for first year engineering mechanical so as it is for first year engineering drawing subject similar way you can find a different videos here lined up on this channel so yes while recording your screen you can have all the access to your mobile that can be recorded as a screen voices from your normal mobile or you can use a headphones so along with this tutorial one more important thing in this screen you can use your camera if you want to show something as like this content so yes this was my studies lecture session so yes if you can open your camera and you can explain like if you are having some complex diagram or theory which you have ready made notes or a ppt this feature of camera you can use if you don't have a soft coffee or ready-made content as in the ppt format so yes handwritten notes can be used so yes you can write on this or you can draw some rough sketches or explain whatever you want with your handwritten notes now so youtube your own camera you can use for this so let's here i'm explaining you on the parallel you can stop pause by clicking on those buttons now in this tutorial i'm explaining you along with this how to record the different lectures as these are the two ways one with the camera by screen recorder or normal you can use a camera to record and then you can upload on youtube but the use of the screen recorder is parallel you can use your camera as well as a different screen that can be maybe applicable for your subject so here i'm showing you how the google classroom will help you nowadays so basically this tutorial is focused on this uh, classroom which is google is just type classroom.google.com click on this as now i have already registered here so google will show me my different classroom which i am using right now so i'll tell you as a tutorial if you type on this google you will get this window where you will see this plus sign so click on the plus there are two ways one is join the class this is for student second is for create the class for teachers so you click on the teacher that is a create a class and continue this so of course this you will find the class name section you can save a division your subject all are optional if i click something let's say my class is a smart tech knowledge section is suppose a subject is engineering drawing or engineering graphics room is, is like option create so click on the create button now it will create your classroom with the details for your login you need not it needs to have your own gmail login so for your gmail account email account that will create a class with this now once you create your google classroom yes here you can see now if you click on the setting you will find there is a class code 
gtf you that you can change but that's no issue this class code is now constant for your class if you want you can change because this code is required for student to join your class right so now this code you need to copy and send it to the, your student by whatsapp facebook or email different ways then they can join your class right now the class work is empty everything because there is nothing to be assigned here so if you click on this create you can create different assignment quiz you can share some material so that's a very interesting features so you can use this for your proper teaching learning management right now here people right now there is no student because just now i created a class now i'll show you and this is a mainstream that's similar to the what you can say uh, any website main page now i'll show you my previous class so this is engineering graphics my class where if you see in the class work i have created assignment just 4 days before and i have given due date i have shared some teaching materials unit number 3 4 5 you can click on it you will find the teaching material is in the form of pdf ppts or video lectures assignment i have shared 4 days before on 21st march so you click on assignment you will find out of total 80 plus students right now those are in my class 25 submitted already assignment for which i have given notes and question bank you can click on those 25 you can check those are submitted so yes they have attached their assignment in pdf format if you want to check click on student work here you will see these many students have submitted the assignment in last two days and i have already graded so here you can see on the right side 48 50 50 out of 50 i have given a mark if you touch that button they will show out of how much mark you are given 47 so this is 50 out of 50 49 45 and so on and these are assigned student those have eight not submitted due date is 26 so yes they have much time now if you want to check anyone's assignment just click on his name as let's this guy is sandeep he has submitted assignment yes here you can add a private comment to this guy only visible to this student click on his assignment which is in the pdf form if you click you will see he has solved one problem i have given a five problem as assignment so he has solved a problem question and mention his roll number so that i'll ensure particular student is submitting the assignment then i can check all those assignments and based on this assignment i will give him mark here so right now i have given 50 out of 50 and i can give some personal comment same again click you will find the summary of all your class where how much students are submitted those are pending you can click on turned in you will find how many have submitted the assignment coming back to instruction if you want to see what instruction you had given for student so these are the notes my video lectures and the question bank assignment and this is a summary so i hope this will help for the students so similarly i am using a different classrooms for the student monitoring i hope along with this there are different ways to control your class work so right now student can effectively learn at home and you can monitor them sitting at the remote location let me know how it was this session if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section these all are details you can easily find so the google classroom use was the major concern here and using a screen recorder this app or by using a camera you can record your all content and the videos so please thumbs up if you liked it let me know your feedback in the comment section now i can pause the video and we'll meet in the next session where we'll have a more discussion on the other ict tool used thank you see you guys later